Hey everyone, um, today is currently Thanksgiving, um, this will be uploaded later tonight, um, depends on how long it takes it to upload, um, I want to say a very happy, happy Thanksgiving to everyone, um, so today's video is practically going to be like a story time, no, like, it's just mainly going to be me talking. So, if that's not really the video you're into, then go ahead and find one of my other videos. Um, uh, shooting spray paint on canvases, or I got some awesome videos out there. Um, but this one in particular is just going to be me talking. Okay, let's see, where should I start? Okay, my husband's grandmother uh, was working with, she's a caregiver, and she was working with this elderly woman that um, had caught the coronavirus. And when Granny found out about it, she had uh, went and got tested. Well, the other day, I don't remember exactly what day it was. I don't, I don't know. But the other day, I'm gonna get y'all back a little bit where you're not so close up in my face. <laughs> but um, the other day, she got her results in. Um, she tested positive, and my husband's uh, poppy, Papa, um. Granny's husband was shortness of breath, and which he's he's got um, COPD, um, and he's prone to pneumonia a lot, so he gets it quite a bit. And he had shortness of breath, so before Granny had found out her results, she had took him to um, the hospital. Um, his oxygen was. Don't quote me, but I do believe it was 80, his oxygen, and his blood pressure was sky high. And they tested him for the corona. Well, as they were sitting there in the hospital, they were there for hours upon hours. It was late, late that night before they got home. They went there early afternoon. Uh, like I said, I don't remember exactly what day it was. It was a few days. A couple days ago, but I don't remember if it was like Monday or if it was Tuesday. I don't remember exactly. But I think it was Monday. But as they were waiting on his test results to come in, Granny got her results. And um, she had the corona. And then not long after that, Poppy got his results. And he tested a positive too. Um, and the day before they got positive results, I was down there. Me and my husband were down there. Like, in their house, you know, hanging out with them. Talking to them. I was not even within a foot of Granny. Okay? And, like, I was talk to her. I mean, I, I didn't think nothing of it. I didn't. So, when they got their results in and they both came out positive, um, don't get me wrong, Granny, if you're watching this, Poppy, if you're watching this, um, don't get me wrong, I was not mad, okay? I was not mad at y'all for getting it. It was something you couldn't help. You ended up getting it. I was worried for you all. That's what I was. I still am. And I have quite a few people praying for you all. And I know, Granny, you put it on Facebook. And I know you've got people praying for you all too. But I had had plans for Thanksgiving. Me and my husband were going to go to my mom's. And spend Thanksgiving with them. 
And then later that night, we were going to go to my older brother and his wife, their house, and we were going to have, like, a Thanksgiving supper with them. Well, I had to call and break the news to everybody. Because where I was in contact with them, right before they got the positive results, literally the day before, I have been, me and my husband both, have been exposed to it. Um, me and him currently do not have it. We are not showing any symptoms. And I pray to God on high that we don't. As I was saying, my, uh, I had to stop recording there for a minute. I had ran out of storage and had to go through and delete like a game or so. But anyway, um, we were in contact. Neither one of me and my husband, neither one of us are showing any symptom whatsoever of the coronavirus. Oh, well, I'm doing a video. I'm going to take my boots off. <laughs> <coughs> Whew. I think if I got choked on my tongue. But, um, and I do pray that we don't show any symptoms, but I had a call, uh, my mom and my nanny and my brother and let them all know that me and Sterling would not be able to join them for Thanksgiving due to me and him have to quarantine ourselves. Um... So, uh, we've been in quarantine since Tuesday, I think. Anyway, the end of our quarantine will be up December 7th. Literally two days before my mom's birthday. Happy early birthday, mom! Um, but what I'm getting on here and saying is... Yeah, I may not have got to spend Thanksgiving with my family. If I cry, I am sorry. It is just an emotional, there is a personal reason behind the way I'm feeling. And I don't feel comfortable completely sharing every bit of it. So, we're just going to leave uh, past out of this video. Anyway. I called, I was crying, because I wanted to spend Thanksgiving with my family. I did. I was excited for it. Um, yeah, I was partly excited for the food, but I was more excited to spend it with my family. But you know what, guys? You know what my mother, my grandmother, my little brother done? Before they ate Thanksgiving today, before they sat down to eat their meal, they packed me and my husband some food. They brought it down to our house and set it on our porch and talked to us for a few. And no, they didn't get close to us while we were in quarantine. We stayed six feet apart, but still it was the fact that before they even ate they made sure me and my husband had our Thanksgiving dinner because we couldn't go and join them and yeah my mama told me that she woke up this morning and she was crying because I wasn't going to be able to spend Thanksgiving with my family and I know some people be, may be on here like what well, I ain't seen my or I moved you know, I've got my own family. I'm over here in Canada and my family's from, uh, I don't know, let's say Miami, Florida. You know, I can't go every Thanksgiving and spend time with my family. That is not the case. I have had a bad past. And in 2017, I was not allowed to spend Thanksgiving with my family. It had nothing to do with them. It was just... Stuff that was going on at the time. I was not able to. And me not being able to spend Thanksgiving with them this year. Really killed me. It killed my mom too. I can tell. But you know what? I was with my husband today. We sit right here in this very bedroom. 
We ate our Thanksgiving meal that my family had prepared us. We turned on Netflix. We watched a Christmas movie together. It was just me and him. Yeah, we may not have been able to be near our families for Thanksgiving. But I have so much to be thankful for. I really do. And I hope you all, before you sit down and you put food in your mouth, I hope you thank the Lord that you woke up this morning. That's something to be thankful for. Give thanks. But uh, I was talking to him I was, and I said, I'm, we may not get to spend it with our family. I said, but I didn't have a bad Thanksgiving. I had a good one. Because I got to spend it with my husband. And I don't remember exactly what all I had said to him. But it was just our first Thanksgiving alone together. And I just wanted to come on here and tell uh, my story of why I couldn't spend Thanksgiving with my family. Because I'm currently in quarantine. <laughs> but besides all of that. I hope y'all had a really great Thanksgiving. And if you all don't mind, when you pray tonight before you go to sleep, or in the morning when you wake up, if you pray then, whenever you pray, please, please, lift my husband's grandmother and grandfather up in your prayers. They need it. They really do. He started, uh, Poppy started wheezing yesterday with the corona. They've been staying in bed, you know, like, they they don't really have a lot of energy, and you can tell it's taking a toe on them. We sit up here, and we, we call them, you know, I mean, we call back and forth, ask them how they're doing. Granny says she's doing a little better today than she did yesterday. But Poppy's feeling really bad. And I just want you all, you know what I'm going to do? Okay. Take a moment with me, everybody. We're going to pray. Okay? We're going to pray. You don't have to pray out loud. You can just listen to me. Or you can pray in your own head. Like you can... Pray to yourself. Pray to God. I'm like, you don't have to speak out loud. Just pray. But let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, I do give thanks for the Thanksgiving I did have today. I give thanks for waking up this morning. I am grateful for everything I do have. And I'm grateful for everybody that's around me that loves me and I love them. And I do want to lift Granny and Poppy. By the way, their names are Zena and Ermel. I want to lift Granny and Poppy up, Lord, if it's your will. Take care of them. Pull them through this. I know they're struggling real bad right now. But if it's your will, Lord, pull them through it. And I pray, Lord, that me and my husband stay safe and we don't catch it. In your sweet holy name, amen. I had to pray, guys. I just felt like that was something I needed to do. I know I've never prayed on a video before, but that was something I needed to do for, my, for myself, okay? Um, if you're still <laughs> watching, if I still have anybody watching to this point, I want to say thank you. Thank you for praying with me. Continue to lift Granny and Poppy up in prayer. Continue to lift me and my husband up in prayer. 
My husband has asthma. And I'm terrified for him to get the coronavirus. So lift us up in prayer, please. <sighs> so I hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving. I hope you ate well, but didn't eat too much. <laughs> Y'all enjoy the rest of your night. Or the rest of the day. Whenever you do watch this. And I want to say thank you so much for watching. Please. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. You'll get notified when I post another video. Make sure you like. And you comment. Stay strong. Stay happy. Make a difference. And most of all. Stay safe. I love every one of you all. God bless you.